So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Alright, so for the build today, we're going to be taking advantage of my Infinite Weaken Oathkeeper build. Now for the weapons, we have Wishender for anti-barrier champions and also high damage on the adds. It actually one-shots every single add in the game. We're going to be using a Glaive for unstoppables and we have a Rocket due to the Arc Surge lasting all season. Now again, there's so much that is going on with this build, so I highly recommend watching the build video before you watch this but with that being said let's hop right into the guide all right now the first thing i like to do when i enter this lost sector is throw my grenade then throw my melee that's going to blind the knight and it's going to kill two adds for free shoot down the guy with our wish ender now you can see wish ender is absolutely obliterating this lost sector guys i mean it just one shots all of the adds which is absolutely ridiculous you're going to want to watch out for these little butterfly things they are doing so much damage to you now, first thing I like to do when I enter the second room is take care of the wizard first because they just do some hefty damage. And again, Wish Ender is just one-shotting all these adds. Now keep in mind, these adds are going to spawn from the left and right side for about 30 seconds. There's going to be about 12 of them, maybe more than that. And again, you're just going to want to take care of them and then we can start shooting down the barrier champion. Chipping them down little by little with our nice Oathkeeper build here. Now one thing to keep in mind is if you are a Titan or a Warlock, there are builds on my channel. If you actually click on my channel, there is a playlist called Zen's Builds, and I have a build that I dropped within the last week, one that is great for Lost Sectors for Warlocks and Titans. Great stuff, guys. The Titan one is Second Chance, and the Warlock one is actually a Sanguine Alchemy build. Now, when the Wizard spawns, you're going to want to throw your Weakened Grenade or your Melee, whatever's charged, and then hit them with two Rockets, and then what that's going to do is it's going to get them so low. Ideally, you absolutely melt them before they get in their Super, because if you let them Super you down, it just does so much damage, guys. Unless you're 1830. Now, keep in mind, I did this Lost Sector at 1810, so that's 20 levels under power. So if you're higher power, it's going to be way easier for you. Now, keep in mind, when you enter this room, you're going to want to melt this barrier as fast as possible because if you don't kill them in this hallway, they're actually going to push into this next room, which will make the Lost Sector much more annoying for you, much more difficult. This next section is probably the most difficult part of the Lost Sector, in my opinion. What we're trying to do here is kill the Ogre, kill the Unstoppable, and there is a Hive Guardian. Now, the Hive Guardian absolutely just one-shots you with the Blade Barrage, whenever they get in their super and they seemingly know whenever you're about to push so you're going to want to listen for audio indications you're going to want to look through the walls with your wish ender to see when he is about to blow his load because if he catches you by surprise you're going to be in a ton of trouble so basically we're just going to stand in this corridor we're going to get some peak shots we are going to just take down the hive guardian as fast as possible and we're going to kill some adds whenever they peak now what I'm going to try to do is bait this unstoppable to me right now so I could deal with him 1v1 because the thing about this unstoppable is he will walk all the way up to the doorstep. He won't walk in the room but he will walk up to the doorstep and when he does that we can deal with him by himself. Now unfortunately our rocket wasn't charged there, we had to reload so I had to just switch to my wish ender because he would have been unstunned by the time I was able to actually fire the rocket. The thing about the unstoppable is when you stun him like that he starts backing up, it's quite annoying. But with Glaives this season, they are always charged. You don't need to like charge them up like a hand cannon or anything like that. If you shoot them with your Glaive, they will get stunned, period, unless they are in that cooldown phase where they cannot be stunned. After they become unstunned, they have about 2-3 seconds where they are immune to stunning. But apart from that, whenever you shoot your Glaive at them, they will just become stunned, which is fantastic. Now this overload, this unstoppable rather, is actually so low. Oh, keep in mind guys, that grenade can one-shot you. You can't just eat it like maybe in the Crucible you would. Like if a Guardian is across the map and they throw that nade and you're like, I'm not going to take more damage, uh, then it would be fine to just eat it. But this guy, you're absolutely not going to want to eat that damage. Pop my tether there just because this guy's super annoying. And that just gets him so low, obviously it also takes him out of his super, and we took care of that really easily. Now from this point, you're just going to want to clear as many adds as possible. Well, you ha actually have to clear all of them, and then the next door will open. And like I said, this is the most difficult part of the Lost Sector. The most important thing, guys, is taking care of that barrier champion 
in that hallway that I was talking about, you don't want to let them enter this room. If you do, this becomes so much more difficult than it needs to be. And boom, we are already in the boss room. Well, actually, we are almost there. We have to take a couple more steps. And now we're in the boss room. Now, when you enter here, you're going to see some type of cult ritual thing going on. Really weird stuff. But that is the boss. And the thing about this boss is he actually doesn't have that much health. It's kind of weird. Now, all these Thrall are going to run at you, but it doesn't really matter. One thing you're going to want to watch out for is this orange bar guy. Uh, but even still, he's a Thrall, so even as an orange bar, doesn't really have that much health. Something that can really help you there is throwing your nade, but... You know, Wish Ender also does the job just fine. In hindsight, you might actually want to save your nade for this knight that will eventually push you. But yeah, this little door opening is going to be our best friend. Now you see there's a barrier in the back of the map. First we're going to clear out these ads, and then we can focus down this barrier. Now again, Wish Ender is just crazy damage right now, guys. I don't know if you know this, but I have tested Wish Ender's damage versus Arbalist, and Wish Ender is doing more damage than Arbalist, okay? So, if you don't have Wish Ender, go get it. It's literally better than Arbalist. Um, it also has intrinsic anti-barrier, obviously, so definitely go get that. It's super meta. I don't know why, but a lot of people don't seem to know that about Wish Ender. We're gonna run in, grab that heavy ammo, because, you know, it only takes about four, maybe five rocket shots to kill this boss, and we also have our supercharge. We only have one rocket, but like I said, we're just gonna be able to chip him down with the rocket, with our super, and we also have weak, infinite weaken, and we have wish ender, so we're not really worried about the boss. Now that the barrier champion is down, all that's gonna happen is ads will continue to spawn when we reach certain damage thresholds, so I wouldn't really worry about ad clear at this point in time after the barrier's down. Obviously kill stuff that's running in your face, but apart from that, your main focus is just boss damage. So we're going to prop our weaken, we get one rocket off, and you see that does about a third of his health. So <laughs> if you can enter this room with three rockets, you can just kill the boss so quickly, guys. But at this point, we are just stuck with our little wish ender here. And unfortunately, we did choose the deadfall tether, so we can't get big damage on him with our super. But, you know, at the same time... This version of Tether is quite nice for dealing with the Hive Guardian, so, you, you know, you have to make a decision there. Do you want to melt the boss, or do you want to not struggle with the Guardians? Now, it's the same thing, guys. We're just going to clear out adds when they're in our face, and apart from that, we're going to want to weaken the boss, hit them with the rocket. It's really simple, and we will clear this very easily with this method. It's actually so low, so we're just going to throw an aid, hit him with the rocket, doesn't seem like that killed him. I guess we didn't direct hit him somehow, but it's no problem at all. Throw our melee, get our devourer going, and the boss is literally one shot, guys. There we go, he's dead. And now we just grab the chest, and that's it, guys. Now, this lost sector isn't fast by any means, unless you're 1830, but it's very, very easy if you follow the tips. Now, like I said, if you are 1830, you're going to be able to do this in half the time that I did it, which is absolutely fantastic, and at that point, it'd be a pretty good farm. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. And that's going to be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.